Yeah, it's his fifth start of the season as Javen Coleman 2 and 0 with a 4.5 earn run average. The majority of that against non SEC competition. And there's a well struck ball headed into the right field corner. It's down against the bottom of the wall. Kozil is on his way to second base and he will stop there with a wall banging double with one out. Coleman from the stretch. And a hammered ball out toward right center field. It is carrying, carrying. It one hops the wall off the warning track. Kozil scores easily back to back doubles by Espinal. And Espinal produces the first run as a staff. That's very, very good. A chance for Braswell. He fumbles it, comes up firing, and still got his man. Braswell stayed with it, cut loose with a late but strong throw in the 11 games. And he goes down on strikes. He got a little sliver of that, but it was caught by Espinal. And then retired the next two batters. Vanderbilt leads 1-0 as we play in the second. There's a hanging curveball driven into the left field corner. Davis is going to round first. He'll make second easily as the ball is finally returned by Mac Bingham. He pulled that when Bingham was shading toward left center field. The pitch is hit long and far and perhaps over the scoreboard. Wow. A tremendous home run. Only his second of the year on an 0-2 pitch. And Vanderbilt has come out blasting the baseball. All four hits have been extra bases, three doubles, and a mammoth home run by Holcomb. I tell you what, that was one of the furthest right-handed home runs that we've ever seen at this uh, Alex Box. 6'4", 257, he opened up those hips. It was three pitches in the same spot. Seven and four after 11 SEC games. Braswell has to wait for that ball and then throws way high and that ball almost went into the dugout on the fly. I think it's an infield hit though. The pitch grounded to the right side. Milam sliding, throwing, got him. Got him, got him, got him. Milam going to his left. I found out what those letters well, mean. I found out what they stand for, NIL. Not interested, Lynn. <laughs> Get that foot down, geared up for that just like Bingham did. Bingham has come alive offensively the last couple of weeks. Uh, on a pickoff throw, sat out 10 days, and ever since then the batting average has gone down, down, down. That time he reached for one that was working its way off the end of the bat. Has had the worst of it. The problem has been walks. A chop over the mound, Braswell charging and cannot pick it up cleanly. He'll play small ball and he's done it with the best of them over the years. Runners are moving, this ball is dropped into left field. It's a base hit, the runner will score from second base. And Vanderbilt adds to its lead. Both Espinal at second and Polk at first were away on the pitch and the little soft liner to left field easily scored Espinal. Can move around a little bit, but that was outstanding. And with both runners on the move, it was just a case of making some contact. Let's see if anybody can get to this one. It's Milam backing up, and then he, the 2-2 is a breaking ball. Holcomb is shaking his head vigorously as he walks away. Braswell picks it up, slings it across, out on a very close play. So Birmingham will make the decision. Ooh, that's close. That is super close. The ruling on the field of out is overturned to safe. Vanderbilt retains its challenge. Ouch, I got hit in the head. And they called it a, a swing and a rare. From Cam Johnson. He overpowered him. You know, you, you need that leadoff guy to get on. Kling rips it into the left field corner. That is down on the warning track. It one hops the wall. Kling sliding into second base. He's there with a leadoff double, his fifth of the season. Pitcher, he's hitting 351 as a left handed batter. Kling will have to scoot back to second. The throw is low. It gets by Austin. Vestine threw it past his first baseman, and Milam winds up at second base. And the Tigers have something going here with two in scoring position and nobody out. And they're going to, they're going to award Kling the plate. Oh, that ball must have rolled into one of the areas. 
The pitch grounded fair. Look at that play by Diaz. Swing and a miss. Travinsky was out in front of it. You might see nine LSU lefties in practice. You may not see any, though, as good as Carter Holton. Great location. Now he's got to do it again, and he misses. That's sort of been the story early on. Is uh, certainly something to be concerned about. Runner moving, and the batter is hit by a pitch. The runners are moving again. Travinsky's throw is very high, and White had to leap to save it. Again, the 2-2 pitch. A call, third strike on the inner part of the plate. The one-strike pitch to Polk. Ripped past the infield. One run scores. Polk is on his way to second base. The throw from Tommy White in time to Milam. Helmers came on in the third and pitched two-thirds of an inning. And the scoreboard will change again because Little and Travinsky don't hook up. Ken, you know, I want the job, but if you're not going to offer it to me, I'm not going to come back again. i got to get to the Team USA and against a very good Vanderbilt pitching staff. That's a fair ball. And Jaden Davis is on his way to second base. Bingham is just now retrieving it from the corner. Davis will make a turn and then scamper back. And how about Vanderbilt? Let's check the Little checks the runner and brings it. And it's smashed between Braswell and Milam into left center field for a base hit. Holcomb has a three RBI day with his second hit. And Vanderbilt has scored in every inning. Pushed back to Sunday because of some quirks in the schedule. Braswell has trouble getting it out of his glove and everybody is safe. Only player for Vanderbilt who does not have a base hit yet. That ball almost hit the runner. Outstanding. Is it ever? Not that time, though. Two on in scoring position. Little brings it. Ground ball to the right side. Milam well positioned and makes the play. Holton has not walked anybody. And Larson continues to impress. The youngster getting more and more playing time. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And we've had another amendment to Milam's First at bat, it indeed has been changed back to an error. And this time he drops one into center field, and the Tigers have two base runners. Three balls, two strikes on Kucherak, the pinch hitter. LSU trying to eat into this 8-1 to one lead. Kucherak lifts it very high in the air to shallow left field. Holcomb is coming on. He's got plenty of time. That ball was hanging in the air like a box kite and eventually settled into the glove of Braden Holcomb. The runners will be off. They are. White swings and strikes out. That's outside. It's a five pitch pass. The 1 0. Bunted. Newt's got it. He'll throw over to Milam covering first base. Three. Vanderbilt's got a lot. This ball is driven out to right field. It is caught. Runner tags from third. The throw is going to go back to the infield. Cut off near second base. And Vanderbilt adds to its lead, and it continues to have scored in every inning. 2022, almost two years ago. Bingham retreating in a hurry. He looks up, and that's a second-row home run. Vanderbilt is pouring it on LSU. And this has been an impressive offensive output for Vanderbilt. Three in the sixth, which has been the most productive inning so far. One, two, 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 one, three. Boy, welcome to the SEC, Braden Holcomb. This will be a chance for the new shortstop, Kucherak. A low throw. Jones with a stretch. Doing the splits and hauling that one out of the dirt. And Travinsky drops a base hit into right field. He was strong enough to push that one to the grass in right. His base hit. Now here's Jared Jones. He has struck out twice. He sends this one very high, very deep. Hewitt is chasing it. That ball is gone. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Jared Jones 
lifted it very high in the air. Perhaps it was influenced by the wind blowing in that direction. That is the first home run that Carter Holton has allowed all year, and it comes off the bat of Jared Jones. First pitch swinging, fastball right down the middle. I'm very surprised I was able to get enough neurons to fire at the same time to remember the 80. That's his 11th of the year. He and White share the team lead. Now Holton showing today why he's the ace of this staff. April 9th, the day after the uh, solar eclipse, if anybody is still standing, Vanderbilt will. Oh, that, that seems a little bit uh, overreactive to yeah, me. Yeah, strange. Uh, Austin continues his good day at the top of the order as he bangs one into left field. He's going to try to take second, and he is thrown out. Here's a chop. Milam flags it down, run scores, but Milam once again takes a base hit away from Kozio. And Kling draws a five pitch base on balls. Kling takes a short lead from first and the pitch. Grounded fair ball out at first. Tag out, I believe, at second. Yes. I thought for a moment Kling was going to dive under that tag. It as fair, but the ball was fielded before the first base bag. Finish with Carter Holton started. And that's a heck of a bender on the back door. Carter Holton. Had, has had four consecutive quality starts. He did a great job. Then the big freshman lefty comes in and whips a little breaking ball in that back door corner. You know, I know there's other programs that have big crowds, but these are the most educated fans that appreciate good play. And he said, and they're definitely seeing good play today. Vanderbilt is clicking on all cylinders against LSU. Arkansas and Ole Miss are playing in the late innings and that ball gets through. Here comes another Vanderbilt run. Kucherak unable to get that ground ball off the bat of Davis. And Davis is having a big day. That's his third hit, his second RBI. Well, how about a 466 foot home run? Make this might be, might be his third home run of the day. It is caught with a running catch by Larson and then he bangs into the wall, but he holds on. And that takes care of business. Auburn and Tennessee are getting together. That ball is grounded up the middle and it bounces off the bag. And that clips Jones. It actually. Mm. And Brady Neal, LSU trying to avoid extinction here after eight innings. And Fry looks at one right down Main Street. No, that was actually the starter that got him. And that same pitch, that has, uh, Vanderbilt has rolled out a couple of big time lefties in Carter Holton and the freshman Miller Green, and they just had LSU's hitters in fits today.